Uh, we were talking a bit earlier about HW Prime, the, the benchmark made by uh, HW Bot, HW Bot Prime, and I told you that this benchmark can run on Windows as well on uh, any platform that can be Linux, that could be uh, Android, and I will actually show you on Android. So here you can see is the HW Bot Prime. Uh, you open the benchmark like this. I need to. I need like, to actually put my camera in focus. Hello. Camera focus. Camera focus. Really no. want? No. Focus. There you go. Okay. So you can see that is the HW Bot Prime benchmark. And if you want to benchmark, you just have to click this one. You just have to click here as benchmark, and it's running the benchmark. So HW Bot Prime can be used, as I say, on your Windows computer, on your Linux computer, on your uh, Android smartphone, iOS smartphone. It's, it's completely cross-platform. And why is this cross-platform? Is because then you can do and compare all the type of hardware. So I have a 1293 prime per second record. So I want now to go and submit that. Actually, the world record uh, for this cell phone. Oh, I lost my score. Anyway. So actually, the world record for that phone is 1223 prime per second. And then it's running. I, I just run the benchmark again, and I can now submit that. Yeah, well, so you can submit that, and you can go on HWBot, and you can then have your ranking system. And if you go on the GBD bot, it's on the right side of the on the side. But it's letting you choose like stuff like this. I will change back the camera to be only in the small part of the screen so you can see what one the guys um, what the guys are doing because that that is actually the most important thing to do. Okay, so um, don't hesitate guys, uh, don't forget that if you like, like this crazy stuff and to get more information about overclocking, you can subscribe to our um, Twitch channel, no, there or there, no actually it's there, you can subscribe to the channel, um, we, are usually go, we usually go live for a new benchmark or new hardware when they, when they go out, although you can follow us on the YouTube at the YouTube dot com forward slash overclocking TV and we have a lot of videos there about the previous competitions about the uh, interviews of overclockers and that is actually overclocking TV We're providing the broadcast today I've been doing that for the last 10 years I've been uh, going around the, the overclocking events uh, in Europe first and now in North America and here now in Asia for the past 10 years, so this is actually quite good to see that this kind of thing is, uh, is growing and growing. So on that, no, actually on that part of the screen, here, there, uh, it's uh, Young Pro from Australia and uh, Eight Pack from UK. Uh, these two guys have been spending their time on the extreme complete system. It's a four-way SLI of GeForce GTX 780 Ti with a 4770K CPU. On the upper side, right there, okay, right here, you have uh, Massman in the with the black and yellow shirt. Massman is the spokesperson for HWBot, the organizer of this event, the uh, the league website, and the, he is actually uh, one of the uh, one of the good workers. I will check if I can have his. Because I can see the screen of the contestant right there on the side. So that's not my computer, but that's the computer from uh, uh, Ronaldo. And I, I know what the guys are doing and which frequency. 
So, guys, don't hesitate to ask all the questions you have on the live chat of Twitch. And if you want to see something special, like uh, let's say want to do some stuff with the Liquid Nightmare, want to see again the main book PCB I have here, if you want to see um, other kind of benchmark, I can run benchmark on my computer to show you guys how this works. So why do we do benchmarking? It's for competitive overclocking and we do rank online on HW5. There's actually uh, pro overclocking teams, so this is, these are the teams that are made out of up to 5%. And they do compete, they get sponsorship from, uh, for hardware, they get sponsorship for paying for the uh, liquid nitrogen and stuff like this. So um, they compete against each other in the Pro OC League, the Pro OC Cup. And you guys, uh, me, you can compete in the regular, uh, regular league. So I will take a, f a few questions. I will take a small break and answer your question on the live chat as well as on the microphones. Oh, 
all rookie, yeah? Shit, the rack is all What's on? Yeah. I think it still will. Oh, yes, it's much better with the, with the real sound. So I was telling that uh, Lord you were asking, so can someone explain me the levels of AMD processors and how it goes against Intel, the i5, i3, i5, i7, second, third, and fourth gen? How does that work for AMD? Uh, AMD, they have the AMD FX, they have the AMD APUs. Um, so it's different circuit and different kind of, uh, of hardware, but if you want to compete on the benchmark, that doesn't change anything. You have different type of benchmarks. So there you have the, um, the CPU kind of benchmark, so that's depending only on the CPU. You can run that on Intel or AMD, that doesn't matter. It's just a matter of performances at the end. So you were actually, uh, you have CPU benchmark, you have graphic benchmark, you have memory benchmark, you have uh, performance, global performances benchmark, and those kind of benchmark type can be compared as game type, like racing games, RTS game, FPS games, or stupid games, if I would say. <laughs> like you're playing Bomberman for six hours. That's actually quite cool. Well, um, so you have the ranking against uh, this type of benchmark. You go on HWBot. So if you want, to, if if you guys want to try out one of the benchmark, uh, the easiest one is the HWBot Prime benchmark because it's so fast to run and you can run on anything, even on your Android smartphone. Uh, or you can use if you have a, an Intel third or fourth generation core uh, CPU, you can run the Intel XTU benchmark. So basically you install the software, you click run, and you click submit, and everything is um, already made and on the site. So what you can see above here is Massman, is the HWBot spokesperson, and uh, the organizer of this event. He's actually doing some stuff on this uh, on this setup. I don't know exactly what he's benching, but we'll see a bit later. And the guys you can see there, there, <laughs> on that side, they are actually using uh, four-way SLI of GTX 780 Ti and the 4770K CPU. So don't hesitate guys to subscribe to our Twitch channel to get the information once we go live for the next and the future competitions. And also don't forget to follow up and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel as well as our Twitter account that is at Truthman. And on YouTube, it's uh, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV in one word, no dash, nothing. So I will take some more questions on the live, then I will make a small break to get some food because it's already 1 p.m. here in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, what's the comment from Lord who I hope someday I can know as much as you guys. Actually, it's just a matter of uh, dedication and no knowledge. You can spend a lot, of, most of the guys here spend a lot of time like learning new things, making modifications on the hardware. Uh, they have been building the, their own computer for quite a while. And the, the, the using the liquid natural will take a lot of time to practice. But once you start doing that, it's just so much fun that you already get hooked to it. So welcome guys to this live stream and broadcast from Taipei, Taiwan about the HWBot OC anniversary. This is a special event here with uh, most of the top overclockers in the world that are overclocking on different kind of hardware, pretty much everything they want. We have sponsor from uh, Cooler Master and Enermax for the PSUs. We have a sponsor from G-Skill for the memories as well as Gigabyte for some of the main board. So you... Take a seat. And you can see your face there, and that's what it's like. So this guy is Roman. Hi, Roman. Hey, guys. Uh, if, if some of you guys have been watching our live broadcast in the past, Roman was the guy that was with me in uh, Montreal the first weekend of March. And we had some fun on the... Uh, on, on the biggest LAN party in Canada, actually. Yeah. So it was nice. So what are, what are you doing here today? 
nothing actually. Yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> guess that. Yeah, hanging around, like looking for the beer and yeah. and the no Coke beer. diet. Diet, diet, uh, diet coke. You you emptied the diet coke yesterday. There's yeah. no more diet coke, so they want to buy some more. I'm not feeling sorry for that. <laughs> okay, so what are the questions on the Twitch chat? Answer me. Can you go scroll completely down? Memory yeah, Intel will have two CPU yeah, sockets, to, but uh, it's just a question from O1 yeah. Cheesy. Yeah, uh, will Intel ever come out with two CPU socket on the mainboard in 2016 or later? What do you think about that? Of course, they will have some, but not for the uh, enthusiast market. That's for, for the server. The server have market. market. They have like two socket and four socket mainboard. Already. Yeah, but they yeah. won't be able to uh, to overclock. Uh, there was one more question in the. Before that, uh, uh, from O1 Cheesy again, guys, what are your default frequencies and how do you overclock them to? Uh, the 4770K is 3.6 at default. Keepers at default? We don't use it at default, so I don't even remember the. Uh, I think it's 3.5. 3.5. 3. 3. Oh, yeah, the, because the new one is uh, 5, uh, 500 megahertz more, it's 4 gig. So the 4770K is 3.5. Um, GHz at the start and the guys you can see actually there they are uh, using that one as 6.1 or 6.2 if I'm right. Let's go on the, on the question about Devil's Canyon, this should be interesting. So there was a question about uh, lol, eat, lol It's Lunchbox. <laughs> what are you guys thought, what are your guys thought on Devil's Canyon? So actually Devil's Canyon was launched uh, last week yeah. and we had an event, the Intel OC event that was actually broadcasted live on our channel, the Overclocking TV uh, Twitch channel. Um, and Roman, you had the, you were judged at this convention, but you didn't, did you already try this CPU, the 4790K or the 4690K? Yeah. Okay. So actually, actually, on Alan Two, they suck pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is, um, Intel said they replaced the thermal paste, which they maybe did. Uh, we already deleted the CPU and uh, took a look. It's not soldered for sure. It's not soldered, and the thermal paste looks exactly the same like on the 4770K, surprisingly. So I'm not even sure. Uh, if they improved something in any way because if you look at the VID of the CPUs they are all pretty bad something like 1.3 to 1.4 volt which is really really high that w that's also the reason why the overclocking uh, is very bad so far we could only hit, hit like 6 gigahertz on the average on, on, on LN2 and so that's, that's not really good it's not good for extreme overclocking but for regular people the 4790k have like 500 megahertz more than the than the regular one the 4770k um, that's supposed to allow higher frequencies on air also on air cooling but for extreme overclocking that doesn't do much difference for us no. sadly let's go on the hypertrading question you just you can just read the question. Right. You have to read the question from the guy and what he's saying, so people that doesn't follow the live chat knows exactly what's yeah, going on. Yeah, there's a guy called HD Skills Prod whatever, and he asked the question whether he should disable hyperthreading when he's overclocking. Um, basically, you don't have to disable it. The, the difference between hy hy hyperthreading enabled and disabled while overclocking is really really small. So if you're overclocking for 24/7 computers, just leave it on. 